Well, tonight's learning curve from Roseville to Yuba City to schools across the country, virtual classrooms are being hacked. The classes are interrupted with racial slurs or adult videos, leaving many wondering how and how to stop it. CBS 13 investigative reporter Julie Watts digging into classroom cybersecurity. Julie? Some schools are using Google Meet, others are using Zoom. But no matter what the platform, it seems hackers are getting in, though there are some steps schools can take to keep them out. I received this text from my husband saying the class was just hacked. First, Teresa says a racial slur was written on the screen that an adult video began to play in her son's virtual classroom. The teacher ended up just shutting down the whole class at that point. While the hacking was disturbing, she says Roseville Unified did everything right, immediately communicating with parents, saying in this case, the hack came from outside the country. Oh wait, this one doesn't have a password. But in many cases, schools have identified students purposely sharing their Zoom IDs or Google codes, helping hackers interrupt the class as a prank. <laughs> YouTube influencer Ben of the Week posted this video where he hacked classes after followers gave him their code. I'm stopping the Zoom. In some cases, teachers ended the Zoom. In others, they simply removed the hacker from the meeting. No! Should teachers be mentally preparing for a not if but when situation? I think teachers should be mentally preparing. Also, school IT departments really need to be thinking about how to train teachers. CNET's Laura Hatala notes both Google Meet and Zoom have waiting room features, allowing a teacher to elect who they let in. So for the most part, the burden is on the teacher to keep hackers out by only allowing in students. But in some cases, hackers are reportedly spoofing their email addresses to make it look like they're a student. One clue that that's happening is if you have the same student logged in twice, that's going to be a problem. Uh, you know, it's hard to notice that sort of thing when you're managing a classroom over the internet. Teresa says that's what happened in her son's class. A duplicate student. Instead of holding classes through a standard Zoom meeting, some schools are creating unique Google accounts for each student, requiring students to first log into Google Classrooms before they can link to a Google Meet or a Zoom for school. This enables teachers to only admit registered students and discourages students from purposely sharing their password with hackers since they can be easily tracked. I don't expect them to get it all right. We're all just trying to get through this and figure it out. But the, the school district didn't get back to us with a response today, but even though school districts can't prevent kids from giving out the information needed to get into these classes, a combination of waiting rooms, passwords, and monitored accounts can go a long way to keep hackers out.